I thought I would bring you on for a day in the life. I cannot tell you how much it benefits me to get things out of my head. I grabbed my bullet journal, which I'm in love with. It's my, one of my new ones with the gold foil. I kind of did a brain dump like by category. So let's talk about the agenda for today. Okay, so this is how the washi tape testers are looking. So the washi tape is ordered. I am so excited. I'm gonna do a little bit of work on my email marketing. Clearly they generate a lot of sales using this method and why not learn from how they do it? There's no reason that smaller businesses can't implement the same techniques. So I have everything I need now to go through and put together these little freebies that I'm going to give out to press at the trade show. So how do you think it's going so far since you've started working for oh. Sunshine Lane two days a week? Oh, nice, Polly. Belly rubs weren't on the list, but I'll give them out. So. Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new studio vlog. Thank you so so much for joining me again or for the first time if you are new here. My name's Emma and I run Sunshine Lane which is all about spreading positivity through lovely uplifting stationery and gifts and I thought I would bring you on for a day in the life. So you will have seen this morning I sat down and did some planning and I cannot tell you how much it benefits me to get things out of my head. I have been feeling quite anxious lately, which is very understandable because I am about to become a mum in about a month or two's time. And in between then, I've got an event, a trade show, an online sale, and a bunch of other things going on. Oh, and I'm releasing a new collection that's still in production. So yeah, not doing things by halves, but that's just, yeah how I always seem to do things. Having had a bit of an anxious weekend with thoughts rattling around in my head, I knew that the first thing I wanted to do this morning was a brain dump and just get it all out. I grabbed my bullet journal, which I'm in love with. It's my, one of my new ones with the gold foil. And it says, it's amazing what can happen if you choose to believe in yourself. And the gold flowers go like all the way around and there's gold on the side. I absolutely love it. So I felt very fancy doing my brain dump this morning. And I used the matching wash for like a bit of a pep talk just in the top and bottom corner and then the little dots I don't know if you can see here the little dots I used some of my zig clean color dot markers that's a mouthful I don't know why I always struggle to say that and I've only got a couple of odd colors but this one I got free in a goodie bag somewhere the blue it's powder blue and it's the perfect shade to go like with the washi and the journal so I was like oh Look at me all coordinated, feeling very fancy. So I kind of did a brain dump like by category. So I had the trade show that I've got coming up, the event and the new collection because I'm launching it there. Oh, got washi tape on my elbow. The online sale, a bunch of miscellaneous things and a bunch I need to order. And then 
my plan is to get that all on Notion because there's a bunch of other stuff on Notion and what I really want to do is kind of schedule it week by week between now and the various events to make sure that I've got enough time scheduled in for each thing and also think about what I am going to delegate to my mom who works with me two days a week now. So we're going to have a bit of a chat about that today but what I thought was because it's not all on there yet I would just make myself a little list for today because it's not going to be very interesting for you to just sit and watch me on Notion for hours and I know that there's a bunch of priority stuff that needs doing. I'm sorry if you can hear a pigeon scuttling about on the roof. So let's talk about the agenda for today. I've already ordered some tote bag transfers for a really exciting project that I'm doing which I'm not sure if I can announce yet so I'm not going to to be safe but keep your eye out in the next couple of vlogs because I'll be able to share and I'm really excited about it it's just yeah an amazing opportunity that came up uh, but it means more work at last minute and of course I said yes to it because I'm a glutton for punishment so there's that I've already finished the design for the transfers and ordered the transfers and then I had to take my little Maggie, my little dog, to the vets because yesterday she twisted her claw on one of her paws and we actually already had a vet's appointment booked in this morning because we changed vets. Our vets closed without telling us. We changed vets and it was like her introductory appointment. So we just kind of piggybacked on the appointment to say she's twisted her claw, but she's fine. She just needs painkillers and some salt water baths. So that's the Maggie update, but they were running a bit behind. So it's already 10 past 12, which is terrifying. So on the rest of the list for today are order some more pocket hearts, test my final washi tape design, actually print it at size and order that. So I'll be able to show you that. I want to do some work on my email marketing. I have some information through from Omnisend about how to improve my setup. So we're going to have a look at that. I want to have a meeting with my mum about all of these things so I can update her on what's going on, who is going to be doing what, etc. and get her set up with some more things to do. I want to do some research into reading journals because I really want to produce a reading journal as part of this collection, either as like a tear-off notepad or ideally what I'm thinking more so is as a bound journal, kind of like a bullet journal but not exactly, maybe more in the style of my wellbeing journals. But I want to know like what you would look for in a reading journal. Would you buy one? What would you want in there? How would you use it? So I want to put together some kind of story templates that I can share over on Instagram to get people talking about how they use a reading journal. Or even maybe just a real talking, asking for feedback. I might do both. It's probably honestly quicker to just do the reel and say, hey, thinking about reading journals, so get people talking in the comments. So I want to do that and start to gather that feedback and have a little look into reading journals myself. And then it might be that I work on some freebies that I've been asked for for some other events. That's a lot of things, considering it's 10 past 12. And while I was at the vets, my mum has already packed the orders we had in this weekend. So thank you all for your orders this weekend. They have been lovingly packed this morning and they are ready to go because she is efficient on those Monday mornings. So let's print the washi tape and have a look how it's looking. Okay, so this is how the washi tape testers are looking. I had a look in the comments of last week's video because I asked you to vote on the blue or purple and it's pretty even. I think the blue's got like one or two more votes but I need to check this morning because I think purple might have caught up again. I really like the purple but I do think people were saying they thought the design stood out better on the blue which I do kind of see. It depends on the colour really but I've done two different versions one with the alarm clock and one without and I actually prefer it without the alarm clock I think yeah I do but I'm happy with how it looks in general I just spent a bit of time last week making sure all the lines were the same sort of thickness and that it just looked all kind of cohesive I'm pretty happy with how it looks I just kept like decoration on the spine of the books quite simple because it's so small that you can't really see it 
very detailed so there was no point going like super intricate and I just brought in some of the leaf pattern and some of the stars and circles the same as the cup so I'm pretty happy with how that looks actually it's obviously my first washi with a character on it and I'm excited I need to get it ordered so I need to make a decision blue or purple then I need to decide the sticker for the packaging so my washi tapes normally come packaged like this in paper packaging so it's recyclable and they have a little preview of the washi tape on the sticker but I will need to decide which specific bit I'm going to put on the preview and yeah design the sticker which is easily done because I've got these as a template and then get this sent over to the manufacturer with I need a restock of the wildflower washi and my believe in yourself washi the gold foiled one that I showed you earlier so I need to get all that sent across so let's do that now So the washi tape is ordered, I am so excited. Well, I've sent the email requesting to order. So overnight tonight with the time difference, they should get back to me and finalize everything. And then I'll just be waiting for the proofs. It's a new manufacturer because I had such a terrible time last time with my usual manufacturer, but I know someone who's used, actually a couple of people have used this one before and have said that they are reliable. So I'm like, fingers crossed, but. I ended up going for the blue. It only won by one. And I thought, really, if I'm the desi deciding vote, like I could make it a draw and then decide or whatever. Like there wasn't really anything in it. But I just thought blue is a colour I use more in Sunshine Lane. So we went blue and blue technically did win by a very small margin. So I've gone blue washi tapes ordered so those are the two products that will take the longest ordered now pins and washi so i'm happy about that so now next on my list is i'm going to do a little bit of work on my email marketing and if you have seen my vlogs before you will hopefully will have seen that i have been trialing omnisend for my email marketing now for the last two two and a half months and in the first vlog I showed how I set up with Omnisend and then in the second vlog I showed the results I was getting and I will link those two down below because I have been having really good results with Omnisend. It's been so easy to use that I have consistently sent an email a week to my newsletter subscribers throughout all that time. So like 10 weeks that I've been using them and that's unheard of. I have never done more than two weeks running of email marketing and stayed consistent because I just found the platforms too difficult to use. And I wanna thank Omnisend for sponsoring this segment of the video where I would love to talk to you more about how I'm planning on using Omnisend to keep driving sales to my website because I've really noticed consistent results both in the direct emails that I've been sending out week on week but also the automations that I've set up so you set it up once and then Omnisend does all the work for you and sends the emails out to customers on your behalf which is great because you set it up once and then you let it go. It's not something that you have to put that time into week on week. So I wanna to talk to you a bit more about that because one of their customer success managers, Laurel, reached out to me with some tips on how I could improve my automations. And their customer success managers actually provide tailored feedback on how you've set things up behind the scenes in your Omnisend, which is so just invaluable to have that one-to-one -one tailored feedback because sometimes I find that reading kind of generic advice is great, but to be, for someone to be able to look at your specific situation and tailor something to you, it just makes a lot more sense as to how you would apply it in your circumstance. So that's what I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna implement the tips that Laurel sent through. So the first thing Laurel had emailed me about was my newsletter sign up form that pops up on the screen when you're on the website. And she suggested adding a teaser setting to my current pop-up form. So what happens is when you close the form, it creates almost like a button 
in the bottom left corner of the screen that you can click to reopen the form if you change your mind and you want to subscribe but you've come out of it because when those pop-up forms disappear sometimes you click out of them accidentally and then you don't know how to get back in so i read the information that laurel had sent through about the teaser forms to understand it she linked to the help article which was really really useful and then what she'd actually done for me was already set up a copy of my current pop-up form but with the teaser added so I could just go in there and check I was happy with everything and click enable which is massively helpful that I didn't have to do it all from scratch she'd done most of the work for me already so all I did was simply just change the color of the little button to pink and it said get 10% off and so you can see when you click it, it reopens the pop-up form, which is really fab. So I disabled my previous form and I just enabled the copy that Laurel had set up for me and that was all sorted. So that was a really quick improvement. And then the next thing was about my automations and my abandonment workflows. So if somebody leaves something in their cart or they go to checkout but don't finish it, I currently have automations set up so that they receive an email automatically that says hey you left something in your cart do you want to come back and check out and since I've had those workflows set up which is about a month or so they've actually brought in an extra almost 60 pound that I may otherwise not have got in sales and Omnisend is just doing all this for me behind the scenes which is really amazing so Laurel suggested actually changing the timing of my abandonment workflows so there's a setting in there that says don't send the email again Again, if they've received it for this amount of time so you can see here I had it set up so that if they'd received an email in the last day they wouldn't receive it again if they added more things to their cart or their checkout and Laurel suggested increasing that to seven days because you don't want people to be receiving emails too often that they find it annoying and it's not helpful anymore and they just unsubscribe so I just went into my current cart and checkout abandonment workflows and I just changed that setting and it was an easy tweak and I'll carry on looking at what sales that's bringing in and see if it makes a difference. And then Laurel suggested actually adding a third abandonment workflow, which is a product abandonment workflow. So this helps recover lost sales by reminding customers about products they've viewed. So they don't necessarily have to have added it into their basket or gone to the checkout. They're just browsing the website and they've spent time looking at a particular item and you can set up an email so that after a certain period of time they'll get an email saying hey you were looking at this and it just reminds them if they got distracted and they went off to do something else and it encourages them to come back and have another look. So again, Laurel had really helpfully drafted a product abandonment automation in my account already and she'd set it up so that if they've added something to the cart or gone to check out, they won't receive this email. They'll receive those other workflows I set up. This is just simply for people who had been browsing and then left the website. So I opened the draft automation that Laurel had set up for me and I went into the email and I just tweaked a few things mostly branding just changing how the email looked I didn't really change the content but I did have a look at this really useful blog post on the Omnisend Academy area with examples of really good browse abandonment emails from big brands like ASOS, Debenhams, there was a Jewelers, Footwear, there's different types of brands on there but big names and showing how they do it because clearly they generate a lot of sales using this method and why not learn from how they do it there's no reason that smaller businesses can't implement the same techniques just being creative about the wording in your emails making sure it fits your brand and so on so I did tweak the subject of my email with that in mind and then once I was happy with the email I came out of that and I set up the workflow I just clicked enable and set it running so we'll keep an eye on it and we'll see how that works and whether it generates any sales. And because I was curious, I actually went on to the website to see if I could generate the email to be sent to myself to see how it would come through. And so I just browsed one of my pins, my unapologetically me pin, and then I'd set this email to go out after two hours. 
And lo and behold, two hours later, the email landed in my inbox and this is what it looked like. Here is the basis of this email. So it says, see anything you liked. Here's the items that you've been checking out. So it had the pin that I was looking at at the time. And then it says, you may also like. And based on that, it suggested six other products that I might like to have a look at with links through to the website. And then it just says, happy shopping, love Emma. So I'm really curious to see what sales this generates, but considering my other two abandonment workflows have been bringing in sales, I'm excited to see what this might add. So a massive thank you to Laurel and to Omnisend for helping me improve my setup even more and really get the most out of my email marketing. Laurel also said on the end of the email that she does offer kind of 45 minute reviews, like a one-to-one -one video chat where you can dive deeper into your individual setup that you've got on Omnisend and how it could be improved and different ways you could market your products through Omnisend, which I I might take them up on in the future because I think as much support as you can get with something the better. It was so so incredibly helpful that Laurel had already set up draft versions of the automations that she was suggesting I implemented. So it was really easy for me to just adjust them and click go rather than having to do everything from scratch. And I've just found the customer support from Omnisend to be fantastic right from the beginning in terms of kind of holding your hand and taking you along the way in a non-patronizing way because sometimes you need that, like that's their area of expertise and so if they can bring you along for the ride, then that's brilliant. So a huge thank you to Omnisend for sponsoring this segment of the video and for continuing to help me grow my email marketing and get the most out of it. So I hope this has been useful for you. And if you want to give Omnisend a try, you can even start on their free plan, which I will leave all the details about in the description below. It would be great if you could click the link in my description to let Omnisend know that I sent you to say hi and to give them a try because I really do think you will love it. For me to stick with email marketing is unheard of. So give it a go and I would love to know what you think. Let me know, give me some feedback, that would be amazing. You coming up then? All right, pasta. <laughs> this is Polly. Polly's decided she wants to be in the vlog. Polly's staying with us this week, aren't you, Polly? Yes, you don't know what I'm saying, do you? Do you know what YouTube is? She doesn't know. I've got my to-do list, and I'm very pleased to say that I am done with today's list, which is a miracle, because I probably had about five hours of broken sleep last night, and my eyes are burning, and mum's been feeling hyperactive today. She's laughing in the background. So she's been pickling my brain with loads of questions and I haven't been able to concentrate. So the to-do list was very, very much needed for me to be able to remember what on earth it was that I was supposed to be doing today. And I can't believe that I've done it all except one thing which I literally wasn't able to do because the link I was given was broken. So I've emailed about that. And then the freebies that I'm putting together for some events and things, they are currently coming off the printer. I've got some art prints coming off in different sizes and then I need to make some stickers. So I need to get the silhouette out, but because one of my printers isn't working at the minute and I just haven't had the heart to look into it because it hurts my soul every time I have to try and do printer affairs. I need to wait until the art prints are finished to be able to print the stickers ready for them to go through the silhouette. So that might be a job that I just finish off tomorrow morning. But other than that, I am pretty happy with myself. So can you see this? Is that nice, Polly? Yeah, is that nice? belly rubs weren't on the list but I'll give them out. So one of the things I've done this afternoon is put a reel out about the reading journal. So I want to put together this reading journal if I can get it done by the deadline and so I put a reel out. I figured that was the quickest and easiest way to get people to engage with it was to just say hey do you like to read? <laughs> comment. So if you have any suggestions for a reading journal, I would love to know whether you prefer a kind of empty 
bullet journal style journal where you can make your own and do different layouts and things yourselves and like customize it to your own needs but perhaps with a nice reading themed cover to tie in with the collection or do you prefer or would you prefer something that has set pages in there and if so like what kind of things do you track in your reading journal what do you like to include what would you like there to be spaces for I would really really love to know that and I'll try and put something together so yeah let me know in the comments and make sure you have your say as well and then I have a very exciting announcement that I thought I would share in this vlog which is that I have been accepted to Super Seconds Festival this year so I'm so excited so if you don't know Super Seconds Festival runs twice a year and there are around 250 makers that take part each time you have to apply to take part and wait to see if you've been accepted and I have been accepted which is wonderful it's my first time ever Ever doing it so basically the sale is for makers to be able to share their seconds items so items that have minor imperfections on them and samples so anything where I've kind of trialed different designs and there's just one-offs of things or like end-of-line stock that I don't sell anymore I'm gonna do a big big clearance in September before I go off on my motherhood journey so that is the plan it's running on the 14th and 15th of September and so there's lots of things that I need to do to prepare for that so I'm really excited to have been accepted because I know it's a really great festival the festival organisers themselves it's all online by the way I should say and the festival organisers they all do loads and loads of promotion around the festival so it's a great way to get seen by customers that might not have come across you before and when I share about the festival you'll be able to come across some other businesses you might not have come across before so I'm planning to add some information to the website about the festival so you can find out about it in advance you can see who the other makers are what kind of things they sell and then you can even kind of create an account on the Super Seconds Festival website and favourite some of your favourite makers ready to look back at when the festival goes live and I'm going to hopefully get things up early so people can browse ahead of time what they might like to buy because things do tend to go a little bit crazy. I have shopped it as a customer before and some of the things I tried to get hold of I was successful and some they just went like that because if people have only got ones and twos of things you can quickly miss out on what you want. So it's very much a set your calendar type of event. So watch this space for more information about that. But in upcoming vlogs, we're gonna be counting all the seconds and getting everything ready and photographing the items, all those things and getting ready for a good clear out, which is really, really fun. But now I am gonna spring on my mom. Would you like to come here, mom? <laughs> She's been summoned. She's doing a mum shuffle over. <laughs> you make me sound like an old lady. Mind <laughs> you, you did call me say I'm nearly a pensioner nearly, this morning. <laughs> because she went to lift up a heavy box and I said, oh, no, 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 put that down. I wasn't lifting it either. We got my husband to do it, didn't we? I said, That's, no, health and safety, mm -mm, put it down. So we're going to do an appraisal on camera. Oh, but okay. more like the other way around. So how do you think it's going so far since you've started working for oh. Sunshine Lane two days a week? Yeah, I think it's going really well. Um, it's not a trick. You're not getting no, fired. I think today's the only day where I've come to work or my brain has just been racing ten to the dozen and I've just been coming out with, oh, what about this and what are you doing about that? And... Uh, this afternoon it's calmed down it mm -hmm. was just this morning it was a bit manic wasn't it so you needed some quiet time to concentrate and I just kept asking you <laughs> questions um, and I said I haven't got any answers till I've done yeah. a brain dump and you kept going but what about this but what about that I was like I don't know I haven't done my brain dump but yeah I think it's going well you've shown me how to do stuff and I'm automatically coming in and Doing Cracking things, on. yeah, without you asking. Now we're going to another stage where you're showing me how to use Notion and access mm -hmm. things on Notion. So that's all new, but I'm um, just clicking this and that and seeing if I can yeah. figure it out. Yeah, I think it's going well. What about you? I think it's going well, yeah. yeah. Well, it's not a trick. No. No, I think it's going really well and it's so useful for you to have the things you get on with 
now like because you pick things up quick anyway mm. and you've got the things you get on with like you always do orders first to make sure the orders are cleared and now you're up to speed with that and we've kind of got the wholesale orders out mm. from home and gift then you've got your like second we had a bit of a meeting today where I gave you yeah. some more lists to start like tasks to start ticking through mm. and it's just really useful to be able to divide and conquer yeah. and then for me to just be like oh you just you just do that yeah. well especially because I'm trying to design this new collection I can really crack on with the designs this week and not feel like I'm being pulled in a million directions yeah. as much yeah like <laughs> last usual. week you were doing the washi tape design you were doing the pin mm -hmm. designs and so you needed quiet time to focus on that and I was just focusing on all the other bits. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that worked well. I don't think your husband believes that it's going well because after I leave, he'll go, he'll ask us how yeah. it's going. how's your day? Has it been good? And then after I've gone, he'll say, has it really been going yeah. okay? How yeah. is it really? <laughs> and I'm like, it's good. Because <laughs> other than this morning where I was like... Mum, no, <laughs> I don't know the answers to anything. Yeah. And you were like, oh, sorry. But I think we can be quite straightforward with each other without yeah. getting all upset about it. I guess with some people working with family, it might be where you're too scared to say anything because mm. you don't want to upset the personal relationship, whereas I don't think we have that anyway. Mm. But no, I think it's going really well. And, like, I know I can trust you to just pick up with mm. stuff and go with it. Like, can you ring this person? Can you talk to a stockist? Like, if I'd employed a stranger, I would feel a bit uncomfortable saying, like, here's a really important relationship with a stockist. Here mm -hmm. you go. Like, straight off the bat before yeah. I'd got to know them. But because I know you can be trusted. Yeah. And you've obviously got more experience than me over your professional career of, like, yeah. managing relationships people. with people. Mm. Then... I can be like, oh, what do you think about this? And bounce ideas off you. Yeah. Team. Yeah. Mm. I think it's been a great success the first month. You've done a month already. Month and a half. Month yeah, and a half. first July, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 No, so there's the little up. update. But yeah, it's pushed me to really kind of not finish my Notion setup because I don't think it'll ever be finished because it'll just evolve as we use it. But when you're getting it workable for another person I think is different mm. and so my plan is to take you through that and do a video on it take you through it but also take you through it <laughs> and do another video on that and also about how I'm kind of managing someone else accessing it and like sharing tasks with other people and it be in a place where you can go to check for stuff if I'm not here or vice versa mm. without us having to interrupt each other like if I'm off mumming or if you're at your other job yeah I've got my own sunshine lane email address yeah. now so if anyone wants to send an email <laughs> no I'm just joking I won't share it yeah yeah no I'm really really happy and the balance is working really well between the other job and this because it it, it uh, I don't have that Sunday night dread, dread. Uh, in my stomach Sunday afternoon thinking oh it's work Monday what am I going to be faced with because my other job is quite stressful so yeah. now I can enjoy Sunday because I know I'm coming here Monday then I've got yeah. Tuesday at the other job yeah and then come back to you Wednesday and then when I go back to my other job on a Thursday I think I've only got two days and it's the weekend yeah. again so it breaks it That's up nice. really well yeah yeah and it's nice and it's two days without stress it's a different type even when we've got loads of orders and wholesale stuff it's just a different type of time pressure I guess yeah. but without the stress and worry that comes with the job of being a mental health nurse yeah worrying about people I don't feel as tired at the end of the week now and do more on a weekend as why well. do I feel more tired because <laughs> you've got to deal with me <laughs> you've got to put up with me <laughs> uh, we've just been talking to a camera that isn't even on maggie's come for cuddles thanks oh thank you Mary. and i think her paul's feeling a bit better now she's had some painkillers so back to work thumbs up yeah. thumbs up <laughs> bob's your uncle oh. 
So I will see you in the morning when we come back to finish those stickers. So I have everything I need now to go through and put together these little freebies that I'm going to give out to press at the trade show. They're going to be going in some press goodie bags. So I have my Be Patient With Yourself art print and then on the back there's just a little postcard about sunshine lighting. I've shown them in a previous vlog but they look like this on the front with just some of my products on and then a bit about me on the back but I needed to just make those stickers with the stand number on so I could stick that on. If people want to come and find me on the day, then they know where to come. So that's all my jobs. I am very, very happy that I've managed to get through all that. Thank you so, so much as always for watching these vlogs. It really, really means a lot. I love making these behind the scenes videos for you. And if there's anything you want me to talk more about or any tutorials you'd like me to do, anything you want me to cover, let me know in the comments because I would love to make the content that you want to see. And if you reach this point of the video, could you comment a, what should we do this week? Do a yellow heart, a nice sunshine yellow heart in the comments so that I know that you got to the end. Let me know what else you want to see from me in these vlogs and like the video, subscribe, do all those things because it's really, really helping this channel to grow, which is just making me very happy and hopefully bringing new content that you want to see and that's interesting too. So until next week, take care and I'll see you then. Bye everyone.